Xbox, Xbox, Xbox. Come on, man. Pull up a chair and sit down. We got to have a one to one. You know, we, we have these every couple uh, every couple months. People act like I don't criticize Xbox at all. But this is going to be one of those videos, man. What's going on, you guys? Gaming guy here coming at you with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Xbox, man. Talking about PlayStation. Talk about the practices that Xbox is doing. And, you know, I, I don't see a good trajectory going. Now, let, let's let's back it up. Let's inform the person that might not know. Now, there was a lot of rumors going on at the beginning of the year that Xbox was considering putting more stuff on the PlayStation platform. And to a degree, a lot of people didn't believe it. Because, I mean, it's never been done in the industry to that degree. But we actually eventually heard that, yes, these games are coming over. started out as four, which was Hi-Fi Rush, Grounded, Sea of Thieves, and Pendulum. And, you know, they kind of did some wordsmithing stuff there. I think we can all admit there. You know, Phil Spencer said that Starfield and Indiana Jones wasn't one of those first four. But I think PR writ it in a way where when he responds, it sounds like he was talking about just those games in general weren't coming to PlayStation. Which wasn't necessarily what Phil Spencer said. He said it wasn't one of those four games. So then Indiana Jones gets announced. And... A lot of situation going on there where it's like, okay, you know, maybe now this is good for the industry. You know, there's a lot of really bad, toxic, you know, conversations going on from day to day from like really, really bad and toxic fanboys. So maybe that would start to die down a little bit. And who knows, maybe PlayStation will actually start seeing that it's like we don't necessarily have to go as hard anymore with you know, securing timed exclusives and locking our own stuff down within reason, maybe we can be a little bit more of a multi-platform as well. Uh, so what, what am I talking about? I'm talking about Helldivers. Now, Helldivers was a huge smashing success at the beginning of the year, and a lot of people really enjoyed Helldivers. And I think one of the the things that people enjoyed the most out of Helldivers is just the cooperative experience that this game would give you. And... A lot of people wondered, is this game one of those games that's going to come to Xbox? Now, PlayStation, I'm pretty sure, put in the comment section below, they own Helldivers. They own the IP. They don't own the studio, but they own damn near everything else. They just don't own the studio. Maybe they don't own the IP. I don't know. Put in the comment section below. Uh, educate me, guys. Educate me. So when it comes down to it, it's just like, look, you know, since Xbox is being a little bit more up and coming with their stuff, what does that mean for us? Well, let me tell you, it means not a damn thing, man. You know, there's actually a article going on with uh, Jess Corden uh, where there was remarks from a community manager where essentially what was going on with that is they were just straight up asking him, yo, uh, is it never going to come? And he said, no, it's not necessarily never going to come to the platform. But Helldivers 2 right now, PlayStation and Xbox just aren't playing nice with the IP. Now, I understand a lot of people are saying, but Attic, they kind of own this game. So that kind of makes more sense. But then when you look at something like what they just did try to do with the Crimson game, now, obviously, that could have been a year old, maybe two years old. I don't know. But I don't personally think PlayStation's going to stop trying to do this. Maybe I'm being naive in the matter. But I personally feel like on my end, they're going to continue this practice because it makes most sense for them when it comes to how they should going to secure things. If you get Xbox to a point where they're essentially having to, you know, in all sense of things, just they're, what's what I'm looking for? They're, all, they're, they're hanging up the gubs. They're not really trying to compete anymore. And Helldivers 2, to me, is not a big enough game to keep off any platform. But if we've seen anything from PlayStation, it's consistency. PlayStation has no problem, none whatsoever, holding this game off of the Xbox platform because they see Xbox as competition. I don't care what the PlayStation people try to tell you. 
I don't care what anyone tries to tell you. A lot of people will, will legitly try to convince you that PlayStation doesn't see them as competition. But the way PlayStation moves, they definitely see Xbox as competition. And my biggest issue when it comes to this particular thing is just like, while Xbox is trying to play nice and they're not trying to really, you know, rock the boat too much. They're trying to get as good as publicity as possible when it comes to the media. PlayStation is still securing games off your platform. PlayStation isn't playing nice even with smaller IPs that would actually benefit them being on multiple platforms because something like Helldivers 2 is so big on the multiplayer hemisphere that it makes more sense for that game to come over as a as an Xbox game because it's not a God of War. It's not an Uncharted. It's not a Last of Us. And when I'm sitting here looking at, at the decisions that PlayStation's making, Xbox, don't get it twisted. They do not care about your ecosystem. They don't care about your consumer. They don't even care about their own games. Helldivers is the type of game you can put on Xbox. It's not going to really affect them whatsoever. It's, it's going to help them because it's going to give them more access to another consumer that can spend money in their store. But what is PlayStation looking out above everything else? They're looking out for their ecosystem. They're looking out for their hardware. And to me, Xbox is going into, you know, a competitive war, if you say, if, you, if you're willing, with no weapons. And PlayStation and the Switch have all the weapons in the world. You know, we don't know what happened with Black Myth Wukong. And, you know, it has been rated as a game that's coming out for, uh, for Xbox. I don't know exactly what that is means in general but it is out there and you know it does look like to some degree we're going to get that game but you know when I, I'm sitting here like looking at that it's like at that point by the time we get it is it going to matter and what I mean by is it going to matter is like let's be honest like let's be 100% honest Black Myth is a phenomenal game I might not have really jumped on it a whole lot uh, I felt like the performance on the PlayStation could have been better to me. Uh, but I can agree that the quality's there. The game is there. And I feel like a lot of the hype has already evaporated from the game. And, and to me, it's just like the Boulders Gate 3. Look, is it good that we got Boulders Gate 3? Yes. Phenomenal that we got Boulders Gate 3. And I will even say Boulders Gate and Black Myth Wukong isn't necessarily Xbox's fault. Uh, or the console manufacturers in general. It's just more of like a developer needing the game out to come out a s X amount of time. Uh, as far as Black Myth Wukong, was there some type of deal that was made? I don't know. I'm not going to put it past PlayStation to make that kind of arrangement, but I'm not going to sit here and say 100% that it happened either. I believe something happened. I don't think it was anything of, oh, you know, we're going to sign this timed exclusivity. I just think it was one of those things where it's like, look, if we help you, uh, you know, I need you to be 100% on us. You know, let's let's get this PlayStation version running as best as it can. Now, you can work on the Xbox One once we get the PlayStation One launched, but let's get this, let's get this PlayStation One out. I think that's probably generally what happened. Look, the whole point of this video is just like Xbox... We got to be real here. You know, if you don't care about the hardware, that's fine. If you generally do not care about the hardware, that is your prerogative. You can make those decisions. And for the most part, most people are going to slowly accept it. You know, I myself, I'm going off of actions. It doesn't seem like you care about the hardware at all. And I have people in my comment section every video saying you don't care about the hardware. But you still come out there and act like you care. So it's either you straighten up this ship and you don't have to like do a full blown, you know, turnaround. What I need from Xbox is I need a public line in the sand. Look, we've been very all over the place when it comes to communication. And I'm assuming and I understand why a lot of our fans are very frustrated with us. It's not a matter of what we're doing, it's how we're doing it. We're not really explaining nothing to you, and we're giving such a wide open sleep that we understand people 
don't understand what we're doing to a point where we feel like we don't even understand what we're doing. We understand why people feel that way. But these games, they're going to be on Xbox and Xbox only. Obviously PC, but you guys get what I'm saying. You know, let's say the Xbox Core Studios, Fable, Halo, Gears. These games are only on Xbox. Bethesda games, we got some timed exclusivity going on there. But those games will come to PlayStation eventually. And Activision, ABK games, you know, we'll cherry pick some. But the majority of those are going to be uh, multi-plat, but they will be in Game Pass. To me, that is the conversation that needs to be done. Is it the one that I just had? Probably not. You know, there's probably a lot of stuff that uh, I assume, but that's not correct. It's like I said, I've always been told you, I'm just, just a guy on the internet that makes videos, guys. I'm just like you. Just someone that makes videos, I don't know. I don't, I'm not, I don't have, you know, ears in all these places. I don't know what they're doing. But I do know what they're doing in terms of their brand, and they're destroying it. A lot of people I see when it comes to the casual audience, they say that there's no reason to buy an Xbox. I think the biggest thing that we're going to have to see is we're going to have to see exactly what happens when it comes to this next thing. This next quarter, it's the holiday quarter. It's what they're selling. We're going to have to see how they do in the holidays uh, because Black Myth Wukong not coming. Is that a huge hit? No, not necessarily. But when you put it to what happened with you know, Boulder's Gate 3, the fact that they won't share Helldivers, even though that that's not a huge game in the in their library that actually benefits putting that on more platforms, PlayStation is still trying to put you in the grave. And until you wake up and see that, why are you giving your games to competition that look at your consumer and say, come over here, you ain't getting our shit over there. And I think you need to start taking that seriously. But anyway, guys, put in the comments below what you guys feel about that. Look, this is kind of my rant. You know, I don't even know what I'm going to name it. Probably something with Hell Divers because I do feel like a lot of this originated from Hell Divers. And it just shows you. It's like, even though that Xbox essentially put down, wave the white flag, PlayStation is saying, we don't care about no white flag. The only thing we care about is you out of business. And maybe not necessarily as a publisher. I think PlayStation probably could appreciate them as a publisher. They can make plenty of money off them as a publisher. But I don't think they want them in the console manufacturing at all. But put in the comments section below what you guys feel about this. Very curious. Uh, if you guys enjoy the video, definitely hit that like button. It's always appreciated. You can always sub to the channel for weekly content. We make content just about every day, Monday through Friday. Addict Arena is in the description below. Uh, today I'm going to be streaming uh, The Quiet Place, that game. It's going to be interesting. Maybe I'll even stream another game. I got a review code not too long ago. But anyway, put in the comment section below over there. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, it's Lord Addict IOP. And without any further ado, you guys have a fantastic day. Peace. Oh my gosh, man. It's we wanted news to pick up. It's up.